Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay heads to Manhattan Beach, California, where he must contend with the youngest restaurant owner he's ever encountered. How old are you if you don't know me? 28. She may be an ambitious business school graduate. I didn't really expect it to be this hard. But she may have picked the wrong business to get into. Lisa, I am not serving food like this. She's clueless in the kitchen. When was the last time you looked in this fridge? I never really examined it. She doesn't eat the food. I'm actually vegetarian. And she has no control of her restaurant. What are you doing? Why are you standing here? Tonight. Jeff Ramsey tries to educate this young owner. We're serving tuna on a Monday for Thursday night. But when class begins, Whoa. will this owner's immaturity be her downfall? I think you're a jerk. And will the kitchen staff stick around for graduation day? Hello! We're giving up, sir. Yeah, I know you're giving up. Louis! Get ready for a crash course ah! in Restaurant 101. You may have bought the restaurant at 23, but you're not running it. Grow up, Lisa, will you? <laughs> Just south of Los Angeles is the picturesque beach town of Manhattan Beach. Five years ago, Lisa Hemet, an ambitious 23-year-old, fresh out of USC Business School, bought a restaurant called Lido de Manhattan. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to Lido. Did you ever... I think I do surprise a lot of people based on first impression and seeing someone as young as I am and female, I think they are surprised. Thanks for joining us. Most people still think that my parents gave it to me or I married somebody that gave it to me, which is frustrating, but at the same time, I know the truth. I went to USC and studied business entrepreneurship. So after I graduated college, I was bound and determined to only work for myself but instead of starting from scratch, I started looking at existing businesses with staff, with customer base, and Lido just seemed like a real great fit. I don't think it looks good like what? that. What? One, One big table. Lisa did not, at that time, have the experience to run a full restaurant, in my opinion. I think we should separate them. The only thing at that point in time that I believe really helped this restaurant be a success was that she did have a staff that had been here forever. Por favor, one of safe. Liz is very smart person, but she doesn't have a, a lot of experience with the restaurant. I don't want to hear complaints. I don't want to hear shit. I just want to hang out. If you see a wine key, I took it from Priscilla. A lot of times uh, she gets things mixed up, uh, like she considers me as a friend, not as an employee. Do you have his phone number? Why are there Morocco? Oh. They've been there. You put them there on your... I didn't... I can't reach that. Damien is bar manager <laughs> and someone that I have been kind of dating in the last six months. Thank you. I don't think that I have a title. If she sees something that needs to be done and will ask me to do it, I'll do it. Are you okay? No. Give me these. Just relax. I kind of cross this fuzzy line where I'm having him work here. It's probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. <laughs> it's heartbreaking to me to see other people choosing other restaurants around here. I struggle with why it's not busier than it is. If a little doesn't change uh, things here, I don't think we'll be open until the beginning of the next year. I've just been so frustrated. I'm barely making it by, and um, I can't continue on like this. Parking lot is jammed, so my big question is, what's the problem with the restaurant? I'm about to find out. Hello. Hi. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm Lisa Hennett. Lisa, nice to see you. You're the... Owner. You're the owner? Yeah. Um, so just very quickly, you've owned business for how long? I've been here for five years. You don't look that old. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 28. 28. So you got it when you were 23? 23. Yeah. How did you manage to get a restaurant at 23? I was just determined when I graduated college. And you graduated from where? USC. Okay. Marshall School of Business. Yeah. What was that, a graduation present? No, Dad didn't buy me a restaurant. Dad co-signed on a loan for me. 
Um, so I'm going to have a quick bite to eat. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead and uh, see you right here. Yeah, come yeah. All these colors. Who came up with these colors? The previous owners came up with the colors. I kind of have kept it the way it was. Right. What's changed since you took over from the old restaurant? I haven't changed too much. Oh, really? Um, what, in five years? Yeah, in five years. So this is the same menu that was off the previous owners a la carte? Mm-hmm. Right. And the head chef's name is? Luis Martinez. And Luis has been here for 18 years. And the sous chef is? His brother, Arturo. OK, good. Uh, what would you recommend? This filet wrapped in pancetta topped with a homemade balsamic reduction sauce. But I'm actually vegetarian. Just, just say that again. Sorry. You're, yes. You're, I'm vegetarian. You're vegetarian? <laughs> yeah. Right, so charcoal filet, but hold the filet. Yeah, that dish is awesome. Okay. Thank you. Wow, bizarre. Hello. Hello, how are you? Priscilla. Priscilla, nice to meet you. And I'll be your server. OK, great. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Priscilla, I think I'm ready, uh, seeing as the owner's vegetarian. <laughs> the baked uh, eggplant roll, and then the spicy ahi tower, please. All right. And then the tortellini pasta salad. OK. Yeah, thank you, man. You're welcome. Young man, how are you? Damien. Uh, I'm a, the bar manager and the catering director. That's a big title. <laughs> catering director and bar manager. All at once. Well done. Is Lisa a good boss? Lisa is a lovely boss, yes. Lovely boss. Sometimes when they refer to the boss as being lovely, it sounds like it's an intimate lovely. Oh. oh. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong with it. No. Is there? No, I am dating Lisa, yes. OK, nah, right. That's why she's lovely. Got you now. OK. <laughs> Eggplant roll. Really oh. hot, yeah. Oh, don't worry, thank you. Um, and these are stuffed with? Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. That look, doesn't look very appetizing, does it? Yes. Uh, crunchy eggplant, undercooked. The eggplant's raw. That's why it's gone so black. Take that back, because it's like piled in grease. But no problem. Eggplant shouldn't be crunchy. Oh, dear. Ay, ay, ay. You send it back because the eggplant is not cooked properly. This is the Yahi Tower appetizer. Thank you. Ah, oh, dear. I feel like there's a firework display taking place on my plate. Rocket man. Something is wrong. I can tell on his face. It's so compressed, it feels like it's been done two days ago. I see tuna. That tuna doesn't taste fresh. It's grainy and it's furry. Here, you've been sat there watching me. Come on. Hey, come on. No, no, come on. I thought he was going to like some of our food. I know. That's just gross. Oh, did you like? No, I didn't. Is, is, it, is it frozen tuna? No, it's fresh tuna. Is it? Yeah. I'll bypass go to the next one. Oh, Thank you, though. Funny how an owner's not even in the kitchen. He's had one mistake, two mistakes. She's just standing there, hanging out and chilling out. It's driving me crazy. He said that it tastes like frozen tuna. It is frozen tuna. I told him it was fresh. Here's the bad news. So far, not a slim ray of sunshine, not even a glimmer of hope anywhere on the food. Chicken, tortellini, pasta salad. Excellent. Good. Now, is that home cooked? Those are not homemade. Ah, thanks. Oh. What is that in there? It tastes like rubber. That is hideous. Oh. Yeah, not very pleasant. No. no, I mean, that's just stone cold. I'm sorry. Yeah, ask Lisa to taste the tortellini, just the, the vegetarian part. All right. Honestly. I still think it tastes good. Everything vegetarian, at least, I've tried, I love. So I think our food tastes great to me. It really does. Vegetarian owner Lisa has relied on the Martinez brothers. Hi, guys. Hello. Come around. And a menu she inherited from the previous owner. And Chef Ramsay was not impressed. So what hurts more than anything was how bad the food was. I can't think of a worse vegetable to serve raw and a slice. A crunchy eggplant. Why is your restaurant that's on his ass cooking frozen pasta with a ship filling and frozen tuna? Two of the biggest insults. Well, 
I have to cook it, so. Are you powerless to talk? We talk, but we don't have the power here to make decisions. We don't got the last word. Jesus Christ. Lisa, come on. Who runs this restaurant? Who's in charge? I'm in charge. So you're giving them the permission to cook like this? Yeah, I guess. Fuck me. I've had a shit lunch, yeah? I'm embarrassed. And you tell me you run the place. Yeah. But you don't have the initiative to identify that that shit. Why? I didn't know. You didn't know? No. You don't need a degree to fucking identify that crap. Trust me. I think he's being a little over dramatic. We do overall have customers that do enjoy the food. And you tell me you run the place. I guess I didn't think of it as that horrible or bad. You're dreaming, sweetheart. Coming up. That is disgusting. Chef Ramsay makes a frightening find. Filth. We have customers to serve right now. And has to make a dramatic decision. You serve those customers right now, I'm out of here. Your choice. But this time... Excuse me? He involves the customers. Are you interested in being served dinner with that filth? Then... Stop! A vicious fight in the kitchen erupts. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? As Chef Ramsay attempts to teach... Let's clean it. But this young owner refuses to learn. Was it really affecting our food tonight? No. Go up, Lisa, will you? <laughs> That's coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> After an uninspiring lunch, Chef Ramsay is looking for some good news in tonight's dinner service. Enjoy your dinner. Welcome. My name's Damien. I'll be taking care of you tonight. I'm going to go with the seared ahi tuna. Muscat? OK. Sure, absolutely. Um, the computers have been an issue for me from day one. Uh, it's really outdated. The keyboard's not even working properly, so you keep pressing, 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 doesn't work. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, how old is this thing? It's, uh, I think about 30 years old. Everything is coded, like numbers. For each and every order? Yeah, that's correct. And sometimes all the buttons don't work. Jesus Christ. Do you have a ticket for 108? They don't have a ticket for 108. Please double check if you have my ticket. 104 and 105. Uh, no. It's absolutely madness. This whole computerized system is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I hate the computer. Whenever we kind of busy, like, really put us behind, the computer just sucks. While an antiquated ordering system creates havoc for the front of the house and the kitchen, Chef Luis pushes on and manages to get entrees out to the dining room. Well, that is just, because the texture is just right. completely off. I think it's really gummy. It's frozen. Yeah. Yeah. OK. Why would somebody want to make that? Oh, no. Very gummy, it's just say it's not. Gummy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's right. Gummy, she's been polite. I think that Lisa doesn't know at all what's going on with the kitchen. What's this here? Louis, when was all this done? Monday. So we're searing tuna on a Monday for Thursday. Yeah. What are you doing? Look at the colour of it. Get me Lisa, please. Right here. I'm getting really nervous now. This is seared on Monday to Thursday. We can't sear tuna to order. That's why it doesn't taste good. Does that make business sense upstairs? No, it or... doesn't. When was the last time you looked in this fridge? Uh, I never really examined it. No. Oh, dear. Lisa, how long ago do you think that was sliced? I don't know. Roughly. A couple of days. A couple of days? It's like pastrami. But that is scary. Ay, ay, ay. Like, I don't know these things are going on unless someone tells me, and they haven't told me. Dinner service is off to a rough start. Customers are unhappy. The food is far from fresh, and Lisa, the owner, is unaware of many of the problems in her own kitchen. But as bad as it is, it's about to get worse. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. When was the last time this place was clean? Oh, stop! Get you! Stop! Everybody, stop! Lisa, come here two seconds. Come here. 
When was the last time this place was cleaned? They should be cleaning every day. But look, just here, just everywhere. Disgusting. Look at it. This is above food. I mean, come on. Luis, I am not serving food like this. OK. That is disgusting. I don't think it really has affected or gone in the food. Like, How do you know? We have customers to serve right now, and people okay, are to do me a favor. right now. You serve those customers right now, I'm out of here. Your fucking choice. Because you think I'm going to stand do you, there what do you want? and let you... What do you mean, what do I want? <laughs> Fuck it, I'll do it this way, then. Excuse me. Excuse me. All these tables here. Can I borrow it for two seconds, please? Follow me. Sir, come through. Madam, come through. I just stopped serving food in here because of the shit and the dust. Are you interested in being served dinner with that filth dripping in your food? Does anyone want to eat now? That's your customer. You need me to tell you that? Laugh. I'm not laughing. I think you're a jerk. You should be embarrassed. Excuse me. It's a little bit gross like that, but was it really affecting our food tonight? No. Like, did he need to make a huge spectacle and embarrass me in front of all my customers? No. Lisa. Just, I'm over it. <laughs> Lisa, what do you mean? You come out, make us look like shit in front of, like, friends and customers. It... Lisa. First thing I said, can we stop serving food? You're totally oblivious to what's happening in your business. You may have bought the rest of the 23, my darling, but you're not fucking running it. Grow up, Lisa, will you? It's an hour into dinner service. Chef Ramsay has uncovered an unsanitary situation in the kitchen. Grow up, Lisa, will you? And Lisa has escaped to the bathroom. As for the kitchen, they're about to get some much-needed direction. Not from the owner, but from Gordon. Don't stare. Clean. Everybody grab a towel and start cleaning. The kitchen is disgusting. I mean, we're talking about inches of dirt, and it's gross. I mean, look at this. He's right. It's fucking filthy. Dinner service is full force right now. We've got 93 people in the restaurant that need their food, and dinner service is stopped. I don't know what else to do. Where is Lisa? Has she gone upstairs? She's in the restaurant yet. She's in the restaurant yet. Out. She's in the restroom, and the restroom's in the shit. Sulking, precious princess. Lisa. <laughs> so upset, I can't go out there. We need to face and fix it. Can't. I have never seen Lisa like that, or upset like that, ever. She's a very tough person. Lisa, you're really strong. Of course you can handle it. <laughs> I didn't expect she was going to react to like this. Damien, OK. Well, that's fine, yeah? That's clean, yeah? Yeah, it's the cleanest I've ever seen it. Louis, OK, we start firing up again now, yeah? Clean the timing, yeah. Is, is Lisa out of the toilet yet? Not yet. She's still there. She's still in there? That's nearly an hour. <laughs> I've been here for an hour, hour and 20 minutes. I'm not going to really watch long. We've been waiting too long. Is she okay? Is she going to the bathroom? Do you want to go and check on her? Or... I can check yeah. on her. Would you mind? Thank no, you. no problem. Lisa, let's go. I really like me. I know he's he a. Rapes me dead on like no one else has before. I can't go out there. She's not going to come out for nothing. We are trying really hard. So she's given up? No. Come on, Bruno. A dismal dinner service comes to an end. Not even an appetite? Actually, I think it's just a With disappointed customers leaving unsatisfied. As for Lisa, she finishes off the service, still sequestered in the bathroom. <laughs> I didn't really expect it to be this hard. I try my best, and <laughs> I really want the best for this restaurant. You got two minutes? Yes. <laughs> No, I feel pretty helpless right now. So that was a shit night. Mm hmm You got upset, and you disappeared. Yeah. That's not the way to face problems. What was I supposed to do? 
So like, you, what, do you want me to go back and dust? Like, I don't get what you're you trying get, to okay. say okay. right now. So is that the kind of trick that they teach you in an honors degree? To disappear in a toilet like a precious princess? I don't think of myself as, like, a princess. I really don't. Like, just think I'm an average person working hard to fulfill my dreams. You bought the restaurant young. Yeah. That was the easy part, purchasing. Mm -hmm. The hardest part was the following day, running the fucking thing. It's like, I, you know, no one's ever told you the truth, but more importantly, I think you're in denial. Why am I here? Because we need help, and I'm missing a key ingredient, obviously, because we have a good location, I have a great staff, I have a good energy, I, I love the place. Something's missing. OK. I'm going to give you a business assignment tonight. Back to the good old days, USC. I need five real clear changes that you want to make tomorrow to be implemented. OK. Tomorrow, new start. Those five issues may start to really help convince me why you did this five years ago. OK. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Last night, Lisa failed her test as a restaurant owner. But today, Chef Ramsay is hoping she will do a better job with her homework assignment. Um, right, where's Lisa? Right here. Good morning. I trust you to be in the bathroom when I came in this morning. <laughs> so, last night, we had a little chat, and I asked Lisa to come up with five instrumental changes that she wants to put into this place to make a significant difference. I want to hear what those are. I'll give you one. Thank you. OK, five things that I would like to change about Lido today. Mm -hmm. Be proud of the food we're serving. Keep a clean and sanitary environment everywhere. The customers should be impressed by the ambiance and decor, not disgusted. We need to tighten up the menu and stay with one theme that works. OK, fifth? It's more for me to learn how the kitchen operates. Yeah, good job. A plus. You've clearly shown me that you know the problems. The hardest thing now is following it through. Yes. Last night was rock bottom, but I think, you know, I'm going to have to embrace these changes and make sure they happen. There's one issue that I'm concerned about that you haven't managed to tackle. In fact, let me show you. It'll be easier doing it this way. Piece of shit. That is the biggest headache inside this restaurant. They press less buttons at NASA launching astronauts <laughs> in space. I swear to God. Yes! Yes! Stand back. to just break the computer, I couldn't believe it. I was uh, in shock. <laughs> that was my dream come true. Let's go. Lisa, let the frustrations go. Priscilla's next. Yeah. Yeah. I won't drink anymore. Go, 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 go. Yeah. This is for all the hard time I had with this piece of shit. I hate it. Bruno, let's go. <laughs> I hate it. Come on, big boy, let's go. Right. Don't hurt yourself. I hate this thing. OK. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Done with you. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> well done. Coming up, there's mayhem at Lidl D Manhattan. Oh, I'm begging just to talk to each other. I'm begging. In the kitchen, there's a war of words. Stop it. And then. The cooks resign. They're leaving. Who's leaving? Cook. We're giving up. Bye. Oh, my god. They walked out. Louis! Forcing Gordon to make a desperate call for help. Uh, listen, I need you right now. The tide is rolling in, and this beach restaurant may be too far underwater to save. While Professor Ramsey is impressed with Lisa's homework and her intentions for the restaurant, class now continues in the kitchen where Gordon is ready to educate Lisa 
and her chefs. So two changes tonight, yes? Okay. Very, very simple. We'll do a linguine of crab, and we'll do a seared tuna salad niçoise. Okay? Sounds good. Okay. So first thing, we're going to sear the tuna. Nice and gently done, yeah? Is it always cooked at the same temperature? Yeah, the better the quality, the least it needs cooking. Okay. I don't know much about food, so I thought it was extremely exciting and what an opportunity to watch someone like Gordon Ramsay. To go with the tuna niçoise, we've got a couple of potatoes on there. It just looks so fresh and fresh, flavorful. Vibrant. OK. Gorgeous. Done. Beautiful. Right, linguine. Yeah? White wine in. Dungeness crab in. Fresh lime juice right at the very end. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely. After a rough first day, Lisa now has a positive attitude, and Chef Ramsay is hoping... Right, let's have a quick uh, briefing. ...she is ready for another assignment. Lisa, the boss, you're going to do something you haven't done in five years. Tonight, you... Yeah, here we are. ...are on the line. That's right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Are Show you me serious? a joke. Uh, I'm very serious. I'm a little nervous about hurting myself. I hate knives. I cut myself when I was like three years old, so I never would have expected to put me on the line like that. I'll see you in a minute. We're opening in five minutes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Right this way. Your menu. Just so you ladies know, in addition to our menu, we have two specials. Chef Ramsay has put Lisa in charge of tonight's specials. That's for you, apron. Perfect. He wants her to begin to understand the inner workings of her kitchen, something she has avoided in the past. Definitely came as a shock to me. I'm thinking about the seared on And I'm going to have the crab special. All right. Thank you very much, folks. You're welcome. OK, there we go. First order. Ah, hey, tuna, yeah? I didn't understand what we were doing. I was, I was really confused. Why is this not turning on? Lisa, get comfortable with it, yeah? Yeah. Get comfortable. Why is this not turning on? This is hot. I don't know what to do with it. Keep it here. Lisa was, like, touching little things, like, doing this. Oh, ouch. Ow, it's hot. Ow. It's hot. Oh, well, Lisa, you got to move fast. Whoa. Why is it flaming? <laughs> That's going in the microwave now. Yeah. Why isn't it going in there? I think it's a very valid point. Why is it going in the microwave? Why can't it go? Because the oven's on. Yeah? Yeah, it's on. Can you see what I'm trying to say? It's really important for you to see this. To see a dish go directly to the microwave, I was just, I was really shocked. We're not here spending all this money on microwave food. Why would we do that? We're so fucking used to microwaving shit. How do we get flavor out of a fucking microwave? It's so good for you to see this. I cannot tell you. It's an hour into dinner service, and while Chef Ramsay's specials, prepared capably by Lisa, are a hit. Did you like it? That one's really good. The old menu cooked by the kitchen staff is a flop. It's bad. It's frozen fish sticks. It's supposed to be crunchy. This is not worth $24. Tonight was crazy. I probably had, like, seven items to send it back. I ordered it medium rare. Which is terrible. But it's not willing to No problem. Yeah. I'll take this back yeah. for you. No problem. Medium rare. Medium rare, please. Medium rare? Absolutely. Medium rare. I'll throw that right back on the grill for you. Be right back out. In general, the plates going back to the kitchen was frustrating for me. Medium rare, please. That's rare. It seemed like something went wrong with every one of my tables. It's overcooked. I am very frustrated. What's wrong with that? Uh, it's overcooked. What is that? This lamb is overcooked. Yeah. Please refire. Uh, what temperature you want? Medium. Hey, you did right. The temperature, that's why. Well, this is overcooked. No, no, no. Refire, medium, hey, thank you. Do you did right. Right. Hey. 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 right now the Come temperature. On. Now I realize that Arturo and Luis like to shift blame all the time. Like, no one can take responsibility. Do it right on the ticket. OK, so medium, please. OK, we got it. We got it. Let's go. Right okay, we got it. Can we just refire it first, please. and we'll argue it after service, please? Everyone is yelling and being angry. Angry. It just tears it apart. Like, you can't do that. We fire that medium. You did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stop it. It's overcooked. Take that back for you. Aside from the successful dinner specials, tonight's dinner service has been a disaster. Refire that medium. You did it. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And Chef Ramsay is looking for someone to take control. Stop it. Okay. We're gonna make Are it right sure? now. Sorry, guys. Thank you. How's that pork? 
coming. Six minutes. Six minutes. Two ahi towers and one calamari. Right, Lisa, you're in control now, yeah? Yeah. Good, let's go. Pass us in the window. There it is. Yes, got it up on time. I feel like once I kind of learned my dishes, it, I was like, come on, what's next? What's next? Let's get it together. 127. Yes. Go. Amazing. Very tasty. Very fresh. This is good. Yeah, it's really good. What's going on now? It's vital to know what's going on in the kitchen. As an owner-operator, I should have done it years ago. And thank you for coming out, and hopefully we see you again soon. OK, tonight you're good. Thank you. But here's the bad news. I can't think of a worse scenario than having lazy chefs. It is the quickest way of closing down a business. I'm willing to work with Arturo and Luis, but just everything has to change. Lisa's ability to change has inspired Chef Ramsay to implement a change of his own, a drastic remodel of Lido that he and his team work through the night to complete. Good morning. Good morning. Today, big day, Lido is relaunching. Ready? Yes. Do it. Yes, yes. Time to see the new Lido. Let's go. Ah! Come in, come in, come in. Wow. <laughs> come in, come in, come in, come in, come over. Oh my wow. god. Right. It's beautiful. First thing, that horrendous wall that was dividing your restaurant has gone. Now, the whole thing just feels open. Easier to get round. Whoa, look at oh, that. Oh, that's so cool. New seating, brand new bonquets. Check out the new china. No more hideous colors. All the plates and all the little small bits of china were from Webstrong Straw. I was totally speechless. I love what they did with the curtains, with the lighting, with the pictures. One thing this area hasn't got, and one thing you've got every chance of succeeding in, is becoming Mahan's, yeah, local, cool wine bar. Serving great food, great wines by the glasses, more importantly, a very cool place to hang out. I think a wine bar is exactly what Manhattan Beach needed. There's no place out there around here that has that. One more little surprise. You've got to see these. The system before was useless. This is phenomenal. surprised when I saw the new system. No way! I couldn't believe it. I was uh, in shock. This is designed by Halo. Huh? It's the most advanced restaurant POS system anywhere in the world. Wow! I believe in you. I believe in the staff. You've got to pull this off. We will. Oh, definitely. We have to. <laughs> Not only will the new decor be on display tonight, Chef Ramsay has overhauled the food and designed an exciting wine-friendly menu for what he is hoping will be the new hotspot in Manhattan Beach. Wow, it's a lot of food. That's so pretty. Let's start off from the top. The homemade chicken sausage, grilled baby artichokes, vegetarian delight. One of my favorites, the flatbreads. They are fantastic. You've got a chance to gain a serious reputation. Mm -hmm. Right, entree, Alito Burger, grilled minute steak. I think it's going to be a huge hit here. I love the new menu. It's so tasty, it's easy, and I think it's perfect. Despite a poor performance last evening, Lisa is hoping her kitchen staff are motivated by the changes and that they will rise to the occasion for the most important night in Lido's history. One, two, three, Lido! Lido! Do it! Welcome to the new Lido. Thank you. Enjoy some wine tonight. Yeah, that's right. Well. This is our new menu. We have some new appetizers also. Some OK, how would you like that to be cooked? Can I have that rare, please? Yeah. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm so happy with this computer. <laughs> okay, we go, guys, yes? Yes. Concentrate, guys, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 20 minutes. Louis, I need some stuff coming out here, guys, huh? There's tickets piled in the kitchen. Oh, jeez. In spite of a new ordering system, 30 minutes into service, no entrees have left the kitchen and there appears to be a communication breakdown. What's happening here? No one's even working together. This starts off from the chef calling out the order. So away now, one scallop, one fettuccine, one penne, one grilled steak. Nobody answers me. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah? I'm begging just to talk to each other. I'm begging. 
that the fucking menu being put up together collectively at the same time. Yeah. That's what's not happening. I was a little nervous right then because with my relaunch, I really wanted to run smooth. Unfortunately, there's no communication. It's awful. Unbelievable. Dining room looks absolutely beautiful. Fine, great, granted. But the kitchen, an absolute fucking disaster. Five headless chickens with not an ounce of leadership qualities. Right now, I'm depending on a 28-year-old lady to save her restaurant. The biggest test I've been career so far. OK, that's dinner. 60 minutes into service, the kitchen staff is finally communicating and sending out entrees. However, they are not being well received by the dining room. Are you serious? Yeah, all the steaks are cold. I need 115 and 60. All of these steaks are cold. Oh, come on, guys. What the fuck? They're overcooked as well. Listen to me. When a minute steak is cooked, it's got to be served straight away. You can't hold a minute steak. Three steaks on the fly, as quick as you can. When people are getting their food, uh, they're getting undercooked, overcooked, still sending it back. They want a whole new steak. Fucking hell, there's more food going in the fucking trash than there is going on the fucking table. We either need our food like five minutes or our check. 90 minutes into relaunch, diners are fed up with not being fed. So if you don't want to wait, and Lisa is desperate for her kitchen to bounce back. Oh, my God. Look at that. Those are the tickets? Oh, Jesus. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Are you kidding me right now? This is ridiculous. Like, I just couldn't believe the, the ignorance back there. What are you doing? Why aren't you making food? Why are you standing here? You're just looking at tickets. Make some fucking food. I don't understand. I'm trying right now. I'm doing my stuff, too. Ah, this is stupid. They're just all standing there. They're not doing anything. I I'm don't getting understand. paid as well. Then... You know, we're out of here. We're out of this shit. Yeah, we can take it anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're, they're leaving. Who? Who's leaving? Cook. Why? Oh, what? my God. Hello? We're giving up. Bye. Toro. We're giving up, sir. Yeah, Bye. I know you're giving okay. up. Why? Why? Is this what they do? Louis! Louis! On my biggest night, they walked out. Please, guys. Louis! Who's leaving? We're giving up. We're giving up. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's relaunch night at Lido's, and the only thing that's taken off is the kitchen staff. Louis! Louis! Please, guys, for them to walk out like that with all those tickets, like, I wasn't sure what to do or what to expect. The head chef, after 18 years, fails out. That's fucking spineless. Hello? Scott, it's Gordon. Uh, listen, I need you right now. Jump in the car and get down here quickly, will you, please? Lisa, I've just phoned Scott. I told him to jump in his car and he's getting down here. Chef Scott's been my right-hand man for the last five years, yeah. OK? Yeah. I've asked him to be here as your consultant for the next month to oversee this fucking place. He's going to jump on the service and get this place Thank up you. to speed. We cannot afford to let this place go down. No chance. With an empty kitchen and a full dining room, relaunch night at Lido is heading towards disaster. I don't even know what to do. Even though Chef Scott is on his way... They're all running away like cowards. Gordon makes one more attempt to get the disgruntled kitchen staff back. Hey, Louis! Yeah, we need you. Louis! You coming back. This is music for my ears. I was Thank you, Atoro. OK, Scott. Yeah. Atoro. Look, Scott's here. Yeah, look, he's here to help. Let's lift it up and let's 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 get this back together, yes? Okay. Okay, okay here we go. Listen up, everybody. I need a prosciutto pizza in the oven. I need one margarita, barbecue chicken. I need a lamb sandwich up top right now. To see Scott in the kitchen, like, take command the way he did, that shows what a head chef should be doing. Hey, is that prosciutto pizza in the oven? Yeah. Okay, come on, three minutes, four minutes? 
Three minutes. I saw a communication I'd never seen in that kitchen before with Scott at the Reigns. It's OK. Let's pick up Farfalla rosemary chicken, steak medium rare, going with the prosciutto pizza. Table 106. Thank you. Chef Scott helped the kitchen make a massive comeback. I have a clam, two tartare, and asparagus quiche. And the evening ended successfully. Wow. How's your steak? Excellent. That's good. Yeah. I think tonight overall was a good learning experience. <sighs> Thank you very much. OK. And you're my last table served tonight, so <laughs> I'm looking forward to talking with Gordon about what I should do in moving forward with this restaurant, because we really, really need a solid kitchen staff. OK. Lisa, honestly, you have seriously grown up this week more than I ever expected to do. You show such commitment. You do your homework, you show up on time, and more importantly, you are a very fast learner. However, it's not the same with a team. Your kitchen staff in a normal situation would have been expelled. Them walking out like that in the middle of service was disgusting. I 100% agree. That was horrible. Your dream effectively is in their hands. I'm so disappointed tonight. I can't put up with that shit. I'm not sure whether Luis and Arturo are going to be part of the new Lido. But now that I have a much better understanding from Gordon, I am going to really embrace these changes and make this place successful. I am so impressed with the way you've handled what you've had to do in this short period of time. You stay in control and you hold the reins firmly. I seriously believe in you. Thank you. I can't wait to come back. I can't wait to have you back. I'll be your honor student. When Gordon walks back in here, whenever he comes back in months from now and sees this restaurant buzzing, that's going to be my proudest moment. Good night. Well done, my darling. Oh, yeah. Thank well you done. so much. Good luck. Spend time in that kitchen. Oh, okay. I will. OK, good. Thank you. Tonight was actually the first night this place felt like Lisa's restaurant. Sadly, there are still leftovers from the past that keep on dragging her down. And for her to move on and be a success, she has to drop her excess baggage and move on. What the fuck was on in that bathroom? After Gordon left in the days that followed, Scott took the next few weeks to train a newly motivated Luis and Arturo. That's for the uh, clams and mussels. Yeah. OK? Keep it here, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. No problem. Welcome to the new Lido. And with Lisa's newfound kitchen expertise. From now on, 100% just come straight to me. I can listen and make changes. Manhattan Beach's newest wine bar has seen a boost in revenue. I learned so much from Gordon Ramsay. The whole experience has been amazing. Like, it's, it's life changing, really. This man has given us everything, all the tools in the world like a dream come true. Now let's do it. I really feel like I do own the role of being the restaurant owner now. 